Your charitable donations change and save lives. It's why Ummah Welfare Trust takes the trust placed upon it by donors very seriously. Uh, can I make a donation? Of course, yeah. Um, it'll be £60. Pounds. Okay, which project? Uh, can I donate towards widow support? And the intention, Insha? Um, the card, please. No problem, I'll do it for you. I have a receipt for you here, that's £60 pounds widow support. I actually don't need a receipt, I'm okay. okay. Um, in my life, which is policy is that we have to give a receipt for every single donation. For every donation you make, you will receive a receipt which Ummah Welfare Trust has made mandatory for every penny that it receives. I have to leave this with you, is that okay? That's fine, no problem. The charity's 100% donations policy means that all of your donations are placed in the charitable account. Nothing is removed for fundraising or administration purposes. Once your money is received, Ummah Welfare Trust establishes a full audit trail. Your donation is recorded on a bespoke system detailing your name, address, donation, intention, project and the dates when the money was received and transferred for the project. All Zakat donations are allocated to Zakat only projects. Meanwhile, Sadaqa and Lilla donations are used for projects such as water wells and masjids. When implementing any project, due diligence checks are carried out on local field staff to ensure they are able to deliver to the high standards of Ummah Welfare Trust. Financial checks, criminal records using WellCheck and local references, everything is looked at. A pilot project is delivered first to ensure the capacity of any local staff. We have just done a pilot project here, a very small pilot project, just to ascertain what the challenges are and what the needs are. Um, the families that you see around me um, on the hills here, some of them have been here for four days, some of them have been, have been here for up to 15 days. When surveying for a relief project, important questions are asked. What is the severity of the situation? How many are affected? And what difference will an intervention make? And as you see here, there is uh, families, hundreds of them. Uh, there's no food, no place, no water, no uh, blankets. Uh, they are suffering a lot. No one to support them. A project is proposed detailing what needs to be done. The amount of funds and the time scale for implementation are agreed. If emergency aid is being procured to be distributed, then quotations from three different suppliers are assessed to ensure that the best price is obtained. In every project, Ummah Welfare Trust always prioritizes the most vulnerable from the vulnerable. Orphaned and widowed families, or those with elders or disabled members for example, are given preference. The full details of every relief project are documented. The receipt of funds from local staff, invoices from suppliers, and full details of every beneficiary are recorded. And everything is captured on video or camera. Once a relief project has been delivered, a completion report is prepared detailing how everything was implemented and what was achieved. The actual charity expenditure is checked against any initial agreed expenditure. Importantly, everything is stored on file to be audited by Ummah Welfare Trust's external auditors every year. To ensure that those in need are receiving the best help, Ummah Welfare Trust's UK-based staff always visit areas of relief to independently check the prices of supplies. Whenever we deliver programmes on the ground, it's important to make sure that uh, we have the, we provide the best possible, the most that we can, within the limited budget that we have. And part of that exercise is to make sure that we, we attend multiple stores, get the best possible price, at least three different stores, three different quotations for the same items will be taken before we agree to distribute those particular items. That is the only way we can make sure that we provide 
the best value for money. The money that you trust us with, your donations, your zakat, your sadaqah. With Ummah Welfare Trust, we'll go as far as it possibly can on the ground. They also interview beneficiaries to ensure that they've received what they signed for and no money or favours were demanded in return for the aid. Finally, individual reports, pictures, videos and social media Every effort is made to highlight how your donations make a difference to our brothers and sisters around the world. So join Umar Welfare Trust in making a difference. Support the charity's global relief projects by donating today.